Hello, Aston here for the ADHD Survival Guide. Today we're going to ask the question, is ADHD real? I was listening to this podcast the other day. Side note, I'm not going to give any context here. The guy being interviewed was joking around and said if his kid told him that they had ADHD, he would tell them to get over it and stop being ridiculous. And I thought, oh, that's so sweet and naive. You thought if your kid has ADHD that there'll be a defined moment where they conveniently plan to come and tell you about it? That is an oxymoron. If your kid is aware enough to think they have ADHD, your kid does not have ADHD. Don't get me wrong, an ADHD kid will work out sooner or later, but not before you as a parent have already experienced some sort of heartbreak whilst realising there's something not quite right. To possibly your kid being a full-blown living nightmare. You're not going to get that delightfully timed telegraph inviting you to the ADHD reveal party. No, your grasp that your kid has ADHD is more of a slow burn. Report cards saying that your kid is obviously bright but can't seem to complete any work. You're a walking zombie because your kid never ever seems to sleep compared to even your friends not sleeping kids. Your shed has been set on fire again. You overhear other kids calling your kid weird. You notice that they never look before they leave. You get a phone call from the police saying they've crashed your car. They're always driving too fast. Bad impulse control. You get that from your father. Did I mention that ADHD is hereditary? Another issue that arises within the is ADHD real debate is that big pharma companies invented it to sell drugs. Now I know big pharmaceutical companies aren't generally seen as angels, but I think this is a conflation of two issues. Yes, we must continue to contest the possible damaging workings of these multi-billion dollar companies. But ADHD does seem to be the one that gets thrown under the bus a lot to get people's point across. In some people's opinion, drugs might not be the best solution for ADHD. That's a whole other video. I'm only going to talk about my own personal experience of ADHD medication because it's the only thing I can do really because I only exist in this body. So what are you going to do? And they prefer to ignore it and just declare it non-existent. And believe me, I would love for that to be the case. Of course it's easier for something to not exist for you if it doesn't affect you, but it's not that easy and we need a plan B. So rather than your mild annoyance at this made up ADHD come out event, you should listen and just hope upon hope that they don't have it. And if they do, chances are you already had an idea that something was going on. Now it just has a name. Dun dun dun! Good luck, ADHDers.